The flooding in Tumon during heavy rainfall has been an issue for years, and only recently was the Guam Economic Development Authority tasked with coming up with a solution. Gita's Real Property Division Manager Larry Tovis says through hot bond efforts, a consultant was hired to do a study and come up with the best alternatives. And of all those alternatives, the one that was mo most cost effective and again addresses the, the resolution of, of flooding in, in the area was the Gravity Bay outfall. And so that cost came in at just around $8 million. This proposal would involve installing a culvert from the Fujita Ponding Basin underneath the Fujita Road out to the bay. Together with the regulatory agencies, public hearings were held in March of this year where over 200 comments were collected. And there's been some opposition and there's been some concerns. Obviously, there's been no rejection of the, the project itself, but because of the concerns raised, uh, our consultant is having to address and respond to those concerns. Those in opposition included residents and businesses in the nearby area, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and US EPA. The overall concern really was the impact to the uh, marine uh, of the bay itself. So uh, obviously that's a very sensitive issue, and there's some other ins uh, issues uh, with respect to doing any work in the Ponding Basin area all the way out to the bay because of some possible archaeological findings and so on. It's a very sensitive area, so um, we need to address those concerns as well when we come up with the final recommendation. The analysis of all the comments will be completed in the next few weeks, possibly before the end of this month. Thereafter, the public will have a chance to review and comment even more. Tovis says he expects a final design by November and possibly construction completed by that time the following year. Again, our intent here is to address those concerns and uh, moving forward to come up with the best alternative or solution to mitigate the flooding in Tumon. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.